Hello YouTube and welcome to another VS Code tutorial. So in this video I will show you some very useful shortcut for programmers under VS Code. So are you ready? Let's get started. So first of all let me just notice that this uh, tutorial is only applicable for VS Code under Ubuntu Linux because if you are using uh, Windows or Mac the shortcut may be a little bit different for example control under Ubuntu Linux is actually shift key on Windows or Mac OS anyway let's get started so all these shortcuts are useful for programmers of any language okay so here I have sample Java code here and I want just to show you some very useful uh, actually shortcut that you can use in order to work more efficiently with the VS Code. So first thing first, let's say that you want, for example, to delete a line. So in order to do that, it's pretty easy. Let's say that you want, for example, let's go here to the bottom. I have here three lines. Let's say that you want to delete a line. So you go whenever in this line, for example, at the beginning of the line or in the middle or at the end as you like, and you hit in your keyboard control that X. Et voila, you can see that I have deleted a line. So remember always to delete a line, just hit control and X in order to delete a line. And of course, if you want to undo this action, the very famous shortcut is Control Z. Okay. So remember to delete a line Control X. Okay. Another useful shortcut that I use a lot is how to duplicate a line. So in order to duplicate a line, so here let's go to the line 28. Let's say that I want to, to duplicate this line. So as the first example. You go whenever in the line so i'll go just here in the beginning and i hit Control shift and d Control shift and d if you want to duplicate so d stands for duplicate so i can duplicate that many times as i want just by pressing Control shift and the letter d in your keyboard okay so pretty easy, pretty nice. So let's move on to another trick or another shortcut actually. So for example, let's say here in number in line number nine, I have here a declaration double. So let's say that they want to move this line up or down as I like. So in order to do that with shortcut, pretty easy. You hit Control Shift and with your up and down keys in your keyboard i can go down when i hit Control shift the down key or the down arrow in your keyboard i go down and if i hit Control shift and the up arrow key on my keyboard i go up so i can put this line whenever i want on my code so remember that Pretty easy, pretty nice. Control Shift then with your row keys in your keyboard, you go up or down as you like. Okay. Another trick. This trick is called actually column selection. So here, for example, between line 28 and uh, 38, we have here a bunch of lines that are aligned exactly aligned so you see here for example i have a format here which is a method that is aligned many times in the lines so let's say that i want to change all this uh, procedure in these lines so here i use what we call column selection so i hit on my keyboard shift then the alt key okay and doing the arrow down key I go down so you can see here I'm selecting the lines all 
okay but now I can delete all the lines at once for example here I delete all the lines at once and I can replace that with another function for example print lane here we go and when I am done I hit the escape key et voila you can see that I have changed all the lines at once so let's repeat that shift then the alt key okay then with the down arrow on my keyboard I select all the lines okay then I can delete it pretty easy and replace it with another function format okay then escape in order to escape this action so pretty easy pretty nice another useful uh, shortcut if you to, if you want to go to a specific line there is a shortcut for that is the control J control J you see here there is a, a column here that has been added at the at the top of my editor and here I can type the number of the line that I want to reach for example let's say that I want to reach uh, line 38 so I type 38 et voila let's repeat that so control J let's say that I want to go to the line number 2 here we go now I'm on line number 2 okay and last shortcut that I use also a lot is for commenting and uncommenting code. So let's say that I want to comment all this code here from line 28 to line 38. So pretty easy. All I have to do is select them with shift key and the down arrow. Okay. And after that, I can just simply hit Control Shift then A key. Here we go. Now all the lines are commented. Okay. If you want to uncomment them, we repeat the same procedure. Control Shift. Et voila. Now I can comment any line I want. Okay. So in order to comment, Control Shift then A. But you do that after you actually select the line that you want. For example, here I will command these lines. Control Shift and A. Here we go. Now to uncomment them, we repeat the same procedure. We first select them. Okay. Then Control Shift and A. Here we go. So that was just uh, some useful, uh, actually, shortcut that I use every day in order to help me programming and became more and more efficient and productive while programming. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye bye.